Hi everybody, uh, my name is Giacomo. I'm Susie. And today we're going to talk over about our startup idea named Rumi. Basically, our idea it's an app that lets people come together to share space. It's a two players game. We got a rumor and a Rumi. The first one is actually the person or the firm that has extra space and wants to rent it out, whether it's a single room, the backyard, a meeting room. And so like this player doesn't have a specific use for that room or space and wants to rent it out. On the other side, the roomie is actually a person for a firm that needs extra space, whether it's for studying, for meeting your group mates, or just for hanging out, and he wants to rent them out. We want to make clear that our, our idea is to provide a service, a platform that lets the supply and demand come together and find a touching point. We don't want to focus on the specific use of the space you're going to rent out. So we've talked about like rumor and roomy, but we want to make clear that there's not a specific person or entity that has to be a rumor or a roomy. Basically, if you just have extra space, you can be a rumor. Whether you are, you know, a student, a firm, or let's just say a business school that has like empty classes after 7 p.m. and you just want to find a, you know, a, a good use for them. On the other side. You can be a roomie no matter if you're just like a student looking for a place where to study on your own to meet with your friends or also if you're a startup and you want to find a, you know, your first temporary headquarters to host meetings and, you know, think about your firm. So we want to also run you through the competitors. Our app basically provides, we think, a good like service. It's on demand, it's private, cost effective. And what we think is like specific for this app is that it's, it provides actually a service available in multiple locations. So we do not want just to focus on like big cities, New York, Chicago, but we want to also make sure that even if you come to Bloomington, you can find extra space, you can rent it out if you have it. And so we don't want to just like limit ourselves to, you know, the most common markets all over the world. So what? When it comes to the revenue model and experience, we did a comparison between ours and our one of our biggest competitor, Airbnb. So they charge 10% on the host and 3% on the customer. So what we want to do is we want to cut it down to 5% on the host and 1.5% to the customer. And uh, how are we going to make up this gap? We are going to use the integrated advertisement. Since a lot of people hate the pop-up advertisement, we want to give them like, because um, we will have an app in our app, so instead of using like uh, text, we will have their, like, our, our advertisement's logo on the map, so they can, while they're checking out where it's the room is, they can also check out like where it is the closest Starbucks or Best Buy they can go. So. In terms of expenses, we also want to want it to be as flexible as it could be, and there will be like no fixed cleaning cost for the for the room. So the rumor and roomie they can negotiate about it, and no commissions for maintenance. We want everything to be arranged between the host and the customer, and they only direct cost would be the fees and commissions. So. Uh, about the following, so we have think uh, we think of a following in the system that would look better, because uh, since if you have already have a good like experience with the host, you might want to follow him or her, so you will uh, it will be just easier for the following room host and. Um, And uh, following would also allow it identify identify host and customer to arrange in terms of roomy and set the price and get the long term relationship from through the following. And 